Hello ladies and gents, boys and girls, and welcome to chapter 4 of the Cat Lady. Shouldn't say boys and girls really, it's a little bit too extreme for their naive and innocent minds. Bullet for Susan. So just ladies and gents. Bullet for Susan, wow. Okay, so how is she reacting post-breakdown? Let's find out. Last seen weeping on her bed. Didn't look brilliant really, did it? But bullet for Susan, ooh. Pe oh shit, pest con- He actually called pest control. Oh. Okay, I, I thought that was an empty threat to be honest. He was deadly serious. I don't know where we are. This isn't, uh... Where's this? That's not where I live, is it? Boarded up windows, there's a broken window, what? This isn't my house. Maybe it's unrelated, maybe he didn't actually call pest control for my cats, I don't know. Probably should have been a bit more polite to him, though. Really. I did tell him to go fuck himself. May have been a bit of a problem. Someone's in there. Okay. 01392205072. I might have to give that number a call, actually. Oh. Okay. Who is that? Is that me? Pest control man, is that me? What have you done? I I'm gonna need some ex- uh, Oh my goodness. I think we're looking at the second parasite here. Right. Okay, first Dr. X, now Mr. Pest Control, and oh, okay. Back to reality, what's going on? I've slept all night, and most of the day. Alright. Why am I still feeling tired? Why don't you just have a breakdown? Someone at the door. Someone's at the door. I really hope it's not him again. It could be. It might be the Pest Control man, though, and I... I don't know what shoes you're wearing, but if they have, like, a stripe on them, I'm getting dragged away later on, so... Probably is gonna be me, you know. Light switch, can I just turn this off? Oh, the light's already off, no worries then. I'm still trying to save on electricity, remember. Uh, yep, keep going. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That's fine, that's fine. All the cats have gone now, I think. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming, Jesus. What do you want? Who is it? Okay, someone new. Hello, Miss Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Uh. Hmm. Do I know you? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. Apparently not. My name is Mitzi Hunt. Right. Hello, Hello Mitzi. Days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. Oh, you probably had one too many, mind you. Is she my uh daughter? As she said. Yeah, hang on. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. Pretty much, yeah. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but I had other reasons for it too. Personal reasons. It's important. Right. What I'm it's still wondering is how exactly That's you got why inside. I came the other night to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> if you want me to thank you, I'll have to disappoint you. No. Why would you want to talk to me? Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. What's your motivation here? The paper. It seems you have a room to rent. Oh. I... They still print that? It was months ago. Nobody ever called. It's occupied by a bear I now. about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise and... I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. Hmm. I don't really... I read Come on, Susan. Know. You need a friend. I'm sorry. But I did. I 
understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. Possibly the best thing to ever happen to Susan at this point. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Well, what, do you, what do I think? Do we have a deal? I don't know. Do I, do I get a decision? Well, I guess I could do with some extra money. Yeah. But... Great. Can I come in? I guess so. Thanks for that transition. Yeah, you said you're my daughter at the hospital. What's up with that? You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus, what's wrong with you? <laughs> slit your throat? Why are you always so suspicious of people? If yeah, she's got her reasons something. at this point, though. I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. Right. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Right, yeah, okay, so... Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is the question I really want to get answered. How did you get in? I locked the door. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Go on. Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it, probably, but I'll tell you. You're a burglar. I picked the lock. See? You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but yes. maybe I'm not. Yes, My dad you are. was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He was a master burglar. He taught me some of that stuff, too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a really? few types of lock picks in it. May I borrow They're it? That could come in handy. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. Oh dear. See, this is why kids but should not know, play this game. It's too like dark, too dreary, and too depressing. Not a locksmith. See? It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was oh. Like if all hell broke loose inside, the noise they made, it was incredible. Like ghosts howling. Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. Pretty good hunch, uh -huh. I suppose. Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? No, I suppose you didn't. <sighs> Here we go. Well, you know what? I died in that hospital, if you must know. Well, I died in that hospital, if you must know. Oh. But not for long enough. It seems I must have been too attached to this shitty life I lead and must suffer some more before I can rest. Jesus, Miss Ashworth. Why all this negativity? It's what I the do best, damn it. You think this way. Clearly the only thing you suffer is some nasty depression. Not that it's any of my business. But have you tried talking about it to a doctor? <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah, I have, actually. Did it help? Mm, no. Not at first. But, yeah. It did. When we were in our separate ways, I think we, uh... I think we liked it. Let's see. Uh, the, this spare room I have is pretty bad. You should know. This spare room I have is pretty bad. You should know. It's already got an occupant, the little bear. It's not for long, anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. And what's that? Which is. I slept at the train station last night. No. Oh. There's a guy there who talks to rats. You should see him. Wait. Can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel then? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hate hotels more than train stations. Yeah. With homeless weirdos and rats. You're a bit strange, oh, Mitzi. Oh no, he's cool. He's all right. <laughs> and he kept the rats away. Oh, good for him. So, why do you want this room so much over any other room? Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit mouldy. 
This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. <laughs> Pretty much. They'd put me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People. Just, just yeah, just people. people. Just I don't everybody. Give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. Hmm. You think they'll smell the rats on me? I really need to shower. Possibly, yeah. Uh, it seems I'm trying everything to keep her out, but. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see. She seems her. pretty determined. I'd love to see it. Yeah. I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck and it doesn't shut properly. It's all right. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. <laughs> it's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. This is... This is insane. Fine. I give up. Like, anywhere Follow else. You can see it for yourself. Is she it staying here for so me? Stubborn. I think she must be. She's like a... She's a carer in disguise or something. It's, it's weird. Let's, let's go show her the room then. It isn't much, as we saw. Over here, here we go. This room is perfect. But the bear's really? taking it. What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of I think I most of it is to the side. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Mm, no, no, I don't actually have a shower. No, get out. <laughs> yeah, anyone I can talk? Yeah, let's just go through them. Is there anyone I can contact for references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so not really. I've lived with my mum all my life until recently. That is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post up there. Ah, touchy subjects. Um, maybe. Yeah, sure, that would be okay. Or well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe she just can't concentrate on things. I don't know. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Running from the authorities, maybe? That's why you don't want to stay in a hotel? You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? Well, I can't really say. What do serial murderers look like anyway? Yeah. Scar across the face, an eye patch, right. rough stubble. Right. Those a pirate then. Things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just described. <laughs> just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet anyway. I've got my own cats in this room right now. We're just tearing up the place. Fucking hell. Right. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. What are they? You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... I don't know what it looks like. Right. I love this lamp. It's a Does bit it much, work? but okay. What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. And it's going to take you one potentially a couple of months to find him? Figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. I She's a professional him. stalker at this point. Really bad. Something horrible. Really? Is he a pest control man by any I need chance? I to talk to him to get closure, you know. Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Last question. Are you a part of that emo subculture? Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. That'll be a no then. This is just... Hardcore goth? No? How I dress. Oh. 
I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that snow crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. You know, it's been a while since I've seen any really? emos, I just realized. That's sort of dying out, isn't it? Or maybe it is. People seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're caught for emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black, too. Of course. That's because black is the best color. Period. <laughs> you know, you've been asking me all these questions, and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. Well, I just and killed my therapist. I'm fine. I'm fine. You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? It was mainly for the shits and the giggles. No. Uh, pretty evasive on most of these, it seems. But let's say it's a long story. I won't bore you with this personal crap. Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. <laughs> right back at me, I guess. Oh, yeah. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is the kind that can't be shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Yeah. Well, I, I think she's staying here, room. isn't she? This would be pretty good for her, really, I think. Room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? Decision time. Oh, fuck. I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Queen of maggots, what are you... Miss Ashworth? Whoa. Is that essentially the kiss of death she just... She just gave her? Like, the kiss of maggots? Whichever's worse. Kiss of death, I suppose. What happened? Are you alright? Not anymore, no. Either I'm seeing things. No, I don't think I'm seeing things. Go away! You have to go away right now. But why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? Either she's a parasite or she's going to die. I'm not sure which one. You're not safe here, you should leave now. You're not safe here. You should leave now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. It's as simple as that. If you don't go, something terrible is going to happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. No, I don't I think have... you were. I... You have nothing. Face it, you have nothing. Well, I have to be pretty aggressive here. Let's go with... Stay away from me. Just stay away from me. What? Are you deaf? Did I not make myself clear? This is not a good place for you. Where am I gonna go? You're turning into crazy cat lady again. And, and, and it's pouring down with rain. I don't give a damn where you go. You can go back to the bloody train station for all I care. Anywhere. Anywhere but here. I knew you were one of them. I knew it! I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, all right? Yeah, I don't. I just want to. Maybe she's not gonna do anything to you, but she's gonna else. do something else to somebody I promise. else. Damn! I even swear I won't cause you any trouble. Okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. An old woman just kissed you on the then, neck or on the cheek. Maybe. No. 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 What? Oh, you're going to die. Yeah, that was the other option, wasn't it, really? You're going to die. You're going to die. I know. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah. And maybe this is part of the reason she wants to get my room? I don't know. How did you know Miss Ashworth? Ah, uh, I've got an old woman. Psychic. Do you kind of. some kind of supernatural mind-treating abilities? Not exactly, I'm just immortal. Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I... I don't know how you're going to die. But... Call it a hunch, if you like. It's cool. A hell of a hunch. A hunch. The hunches in this game are good. Well, I do. 
I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Is she ill? To see. To show you. I think she might Here, be Ms. ill. Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Right. Okay. So, probably suffering with cancer, or going under chemo, or something like that. Something's... something's wrong. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Well, I guess we kind of got something in common. Oh, right! Yeah, now, now back to this! What the fuck? The parasites are pretty extreme in this game, aren't they? <laughs> so we haven't really been introduced to this uh, pest control man wearing this gas mask here. Need to know a little bit it's more. It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. <laughs> oh, I love the accent. Oh my god. What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream. Yeah, I think I'm still in it. Do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. I don't What's think so. Cat got your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my don't god. Don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. Really? I say, shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? Oh my goodness. Is this going to turn into rape? I, I think potentially yes. Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. Please don't hurt me. Just let me go. You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. You know what? You are a fucking dead man. You're I'm going to get my mace. Man. You just don't know it yet. I'll cut your throat open and watch you bleed to death. I'll feed your body to the crows. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. Maybe not. Maybe not the mace, but I'll, I'll fashion something out of the birdcage. Maybe I don't what? know. A spear. What's going on in there? What the fuck? Who's that? Oh my god. Who's this? Who's that? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? What? Because if you did... This is like the Texas I Chainsaw Massacre family. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. Well, you know what? The situation Before does suggest otherwise. Join us for dinner. That's all. Oh, for brilliant. What? I'm hungry. Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. <laughs> okay, okay. I love the South Park tier animation on her. It's great. Well, there you go. He looks like an average guy, really. I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Yeah. Good yeah. dinner. I'm starving. Right, all and the blood. Sick to death of them bloody cats. Cannibals, maybe? I'm thinking cannibals with all the blood around. Especially on the bed. You nasty little whore. She walks like she's Trying drunk. To seduce my husband in my own home. How I, bloody rude. I, I don't think it was me that was instigating this, really. Let's 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 see. Get away from me. Well, I wasn't trying anything. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Shut up, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what you're up to. Really? You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't can't, you? Can't help you it. Think you can take him from me. Okay. She's insane. Well, he I might just be a madman, but she's like don't properly insane. Battle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You haven't used it much, have you? you? Give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. Okay. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. So, are we gonna like take out two you parasites with one stone, sort of thing? Two at once. Face much longer, anyway. Fuck. Oh dear. Can I not do anything about this? Oh my fucking god. Oh, okay. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. I guess I've got nothing to fear because I am immortal, right? I'm just gonna wake from this eventually. Whenever that will be. And then I'll take those fuckers out. I don't know how, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay. 
Right. What's going on? Oh, I'm in control! I'm in control of the cat! It's not the cat lady anymore, just the cat. Uh, okay. What, what, what do I do here? Oh! Oh, okay, let's... Right, I see what's happening here. Let's just keep pushing this side. I'll eventually, you know, fall off. Come on, again. That's it. That must have hurt. It's okay, I'm fine. Am I teacup by any chance? Can't look like teacup. Whoa, what a fucking jump! Whoa! Whoa! Jeez! Nice jumping! Je Whoa! Bleached face. Not good. What do I do? What do I do? There's a hole here, guys. There's a hole. Suitable only for a cat. Even though there wasn't that much gameplay in this video, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you very much for watching. Either way, I hope you join me in the next part. See you then. You won't like it probably, but I'll tell you. You're a burglar. I picked the lock. See? Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway. Maybe not, maybe not the mace, but I'll, I'll fashion something out of the birdcage, maybe. I don't What's know. A spear! Going on in there? What the fuck? Who's that? Oh my god! Who's this? Who's that?